with Bewitched, do you feel that you have now been typecast after four years? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, I've never quite, an, I suppose typecasting is something that really, you know, you think of a certain type of actress for a certain type of part. I, I don't really think you're, no, I don't, is the answer to that question. <laughs> Th this is something that I have really enjoyed doing. And uh, the fact that this is its fourth year is even more fun than it was last year, the year before, or the year before that. I haven't gotten the least bit bored with it. You know, I used to see so many of your um, productions on live television when you were with your father. Oh, yeah. Not. Oh, they were very interesting. Do you like live television? I love it. I, I, I think it is probably the most terrifying medium in the world. I can't tell you how often when they'd say 30 seconds to air, I'd think to myself, oh, you know, what am I doing here? And I wish I could just, you know, set something on fire or go through the floor, anything, you know, because it is terrifying. You've got one shot at it, and that's it. And being live, you never know what's going to go wrong. I spent one scene holding up a set because it had fallen down one afternoon, trying to look casual. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. It really is. It's great fun. With the uh, television, you ever had any experiences? Yeah. I mean, on film, on uh, tape, experiences that were, you were right the first time, it is film. It is film, yeah. That were sort of terrifying, other than the fact that you had to hold up scenery on live. There any <laughs> funny experiences? Oh, I guess that's kind of far for the course. No, there was one explosion that we had to do one afternoon, and we were working in our kitchen here on the set, which is fairly confined, and it's near a back wall, so all the heat, you know, mm -hmm. kind of brings everything in like this. And it had not been tried in that closest space before, and I had to stand in the middle while this thing went all the way around me like this, the smoke and the flames. And and I must say it got a little terrifying because I had not realized how hot it was going to be or how high the flame and the smoke was going to go. And it was interesting, to say the least. <laughs> All of a sudden, there was no way to breathe, and it was terribly hot. And the dress that I had on just went right and just stuck to me, you know. Now, had it been any hotter, I don't know whether it would have melted or not. But Marlo Newkirk, who was our special effects man, who was a really, he's incredible. <laughs> he said, what do you think? He said, oh, he said to somebody else on the set, he said, you know, I was really fairly nervous. And I said, why? And he said, because I had enough stuff in there to blow all the way to Denver. Well, it's a good thing they didn't tell me this before, but it burned all the hair off my arms, oh, and my hair was all singed. It was very warm, but it was fun. And now that you're used to it, it doesn't bother you. So. There's never any squabbles on any of the sets that you have to work on. I, I understand this is one of the nicest sets to work on. I think so. I, you know, this crew makes it a pleasure to come to work every morning. So, you know, when people say, aren't you getting tired of it? You have to say no, primarily because you don't get tired of good friends. You know, and that's you, what type of role do you enjoy playing the most? Anything that's good and that I feel that I might in my own way be able to contribute a little something to and that an audience would enjoy. Uh, Samantha, I, I love playing her. I, uh, there had been series offered to me before that I had turned down, not for any, you know, reason about I didn't, I didn't want to be overexposed or anything like that, but it's very hard to find a character that you feel you would enjoy playing for, hopefully, a, an extended period of time. You know? uh, when I, before I started the series, I would pick oh, different parts because of, you know, the fun involved and maybe a western because I love to ride and be outdoors. So I was very lucky that I didn't really have to work, and uh, I really thank my lucky stars for that because it's helped. I'm not riddled with ambition, so I don't feel that I have to keep working like crazy all the time. There's I do no things. Wolf. No, I uh, I do do it because I enjoy it. Do you have to prepare you? Do you have any other outside interests other than acting? I know you have a lovely family. Oh yes. Well, of course, that's a, one of my main outside interests. Uh, Your oldest one is about two, three? Three. Three now? Just three, yes. And the little one will be two October 5th. I what say little it? one, he's like, oh, he's marvelous. Uh, well, my husband, who, you know, is producer and director mm -hmm. of The Witch, regular director on The Witch. Uh, so that takes up a lot of time, which is fun. But we are avid sports fans and play tennis and golf, and I paint. Have you sold any of your paintings or just no, for pleasure? not really. I, and I draw and things like that. No, I haven't. Them. What do uh, your little guys think about mommy being in? Well, they're too they? little to realize it. Uh, Willie, the oldest one, he's, uh, 
he, I, I've kept him up a couple of times, and he says, you know, oh, you know, when you say, who's that? He says, that's Mommy. And then the first time we did it, he looked up at me and he said, no, that's not Mommy. You, Mommy. He said, that's funny, lady. And I thought, well, I hope that's a review. <laughs> I was very pleased about it. Oh, thank you very much. Elizabeth. You're very welcome. Would you just twitch your nose and make me disappear now? Oh, 